Welcome back everyone, Ronan here. This video is the same one I uploaded about our kill video. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk through it and cover what I do and kind of explain maybe why I do things. So that hopefully it might help you guys out if you're playing a warrior or at least an off tank role. I mean, this is, this is fun. I feel the tension. Like I said in my previous video, there's multiple ways to do this fight. This is just how we do things as a group and how I adapt I to how things are getting dealt with. <laughs> now, I do run full strength for this fight, and it's definitely viable. It says the loot master. So far the healers haven't complained about how hard it is to heal me. The big perk about rolling strength in this is as the off tank, you have to help with DPS as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> they bring the they bring kegs to raid, okay? Yeah, here you see me running down because I had to go give my little one a bottle. I was supposed to buy booze tonight. I really wanted to get drunk for some reason. And I was kind of in a hurry because that was our last attempt for the night. I went shopping specifically. So here I start in deliverance. I don't bother with keeping hate. I just try to push DPS. Not nearly, not I build my four stacks so it allows me to do my oh, shoot, three fell cleave opener, anymore. but in this case it'll be three decimate. Do we want to try stunning? Yes, so they get up on this, and then when the hard mine gets on, get so on. I go hard down. Mind. No, let's do it. Later. At least yeah, in range of tomahawk, okay. hit the add yeah, to activate it. If not, it just stays there for a few seconds. I think we're okay. I'm totally I use right bloodbath, berserk. Uh, internal yeah, release, right and I, I do my the same opener I do, but for three decimates. I don't think I get my third decimate in there. No. Okay, At the same time, everything's almost dead. Gee, if you can notice, my DPS is just a huge spike there. It brings me to the top. Real fucking American here, same bro. thing, you go down to get the other two adds in the next wave. The so Tomahawk the first one, provoke the next one. I tried to pro, uh, tomahawk the next one, but it was just out of range. So the healer pulled the aggro there, so it's my mistake. But that's the idea. And then you do the same thing, just try to use decimate as much as possible. Good thing I had that cover up. I find oh, that uh, using equilibrium as much as you can in the first few waves my, uh, will really help you out. It's amazing. So I try to use it on cooldown yes. just to keep my TP up for the yeah, rest of the fight. Goad so is only going to be used on Paladin in this fight. Help. Yet still conserving mana. In this wave, Berserk will be ready, but I've started not using it in this wave. I wait till the next wave. I find that when we do the spiders, it's actually better to use the Berserk then. Here, usually everything dies so quick that Berserk just ends up taking off and it's a waste of a cooldown. Especially with the debuff stacks on the spiders on the next wave, Berserk is just more effective. Got it. So this is where I start going into Defiance and pretty much for the rest of the fight. I had asked before if I could go in Deliverance for this part and healer said no, it's, it's a little too much for them. Especially since they single heal it, so. So try to keep your bigger cooldowns for the next wave. I use raw intuition just for the stack. And I keep going back and forth on the spiders because the one on the main tank has the debuff stacks, but I end up ripping hate even though I'm not using butcher's block just because berserk and unchained. It ends up creating that much enmity. So you just rotate your cooldowns just to help out your healers, self heal if you can. Uh, keep in mind you don't want to waste too much TP so for the rest of the fight try not to tomahawk too much. I like their ability names. 
Bangs. Here I pick up the gob walker. I use provoke there just oh, to get yeah. that initial threat. Hard help. Sometimes I lose aggro from a bane or from a uh, healing aggro. So the provoke just guarantees that on. I have it right away. We leave the hard helm to the DPS. The person in the gobwalker uh, stuns it. Here we wait until four stacks. At about three stacks, I switch back to the spider so I don't rip hate from the paladin. And then he provokes it when I get four stacks. I got it, I got it. Now, the spider doesn't have uh, vulnerability debuffs, so I move over to the doll, which should be the next target to get buffs on it. So I help DPS on the gobwalker as long as I don't pull hate. The doll is the next in our kill sequence. Stop. Now he said stop so that we don't kill the gobwalker in hopes that our you monk good. can get enough uh, I got energy drains out of it. I need a goad. And this is why I don't uh, need goad because I used the equilibrium at least twice before. Get your mana now. And that helps out because you don't want to be I out of TP for this fight. Place, the only issue is that you end up using a few tomahawks here and there, but it's not so bad. There's really no downtime in this fight, so right. you won't be able to recover TP from just uh, sitting around. So as soon as this ad dies, we go pick up the four dolls. What I do is I generally have inner beast ready. So I'll inner beast the first one, provoke the second one, do a butcher's block combo alternating between one and two as my two are the priority. And we kind of form a bit of an elbow. So we try to group them up as, as much as possible just so Bane can hit everything and our summoner can just death flare as much as he can. Just make sure you have hate on both. Sometimes I find that you lose track. And because of Bane, you don't notice uh, how much hate is being built. Now, the more you move, the more awkward the adds get. So as soon as I kill off the first one, I wait for the cleave and I put the second one back in the group. When you can't read just that one. So yeah. cleave and move in. Show, now that there's only one on you, you don't need to be popping uh, too many cooldowns. Keep them for the next wave. Careful, Zappo. Uh, steal Cyclone just to do that extra AoE damage. Okay, I'm to go. Now here the timing's a little bit weird. So this I'm is about moving. the only break I get because I'm not sure how long before the spawn. Shit. So I could have gotten an extra hit or two. So pick up the two adds. Tomahawk the second one to activate it, bring it in the group as fast as you can so that they can be stunned. Once they're stunned, Got it. move to Deliverance and start your Decimate just to help out with DPS. You'll notice my DPS goes up quite a bit because of this. So this entire phase you can do in Deliverance. If you have Equilibrium for your TP, now is a good time to use it. I already used it on the four dolls for the health regen. Here we end up stunning the soldiers twice. Just because we don't want to have to tank them at all. There I missed. I, I screwed up. I got hit by the AoE. That's, that was really bad. I'm just looking at my tank. So as soon as those are closed, get in position at the south door if you're the off tank. North if you're the main tank for our strat. Make sure you're in defiance. And pick up the doll. I use an inner beast for the initial threat and the damage mitigation to get to position. Get into the corner. And just so you don't cleave everybody. Now what you can do here is AoE or help AoE the other adds, but just wait for that cleave. So there, there was a cleave. I didn't have enough, okay. That was kind of sketchy. I waited too long, but I pulled it off. I got a steel cyclone in there just to help with the DPS. Um, burn as many cooldowns as you can, 
Because what we do here is after the adds are all dead and the gobwalker is dead, the paladin picks up my spider and he tanks both spiders so that I can go in deliverance and help push DPS. Actually, we do this as soon as the doll is dead. Get the doll down. Here we had noticed we had lots of time. The enrage timer is at 10 minutes 30 seconds. Okay, doll is dead. He's got the ad. Now just make sure you hit the right spider because I hollowed. He tried to grab it, I believe. And I'm on the wrong ad. Let me get the spider run. Oh shit, wrong one. Right. So that was my fault. So a few mistakes, it's not a flawless run. Sorry, television. But the DPS is nice. I should have both of them. Right. So now he has it, I go back to the other one, fell cleaved, and I just try to push DPS as much as possible. Burn that fucker. Here we ran out of um, stacks on the yeah. <laughs> on the gob widow, but the monk is now on the ground trying to push DPS with us. And there you go, we finished with about forty seconds to spare. The last run we hit in rage. Hopefully this video has helped you guys with maybe understanding the fight and what you can do if you're playing a dark knight as the off tank or even a paladin as the off tank. I'm not sure what you could do differently. But hopefully it will help you understand what your role is and and how to maximize DPS and understanding where it's more effective to push your damage. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Come check us out on Twitch on Wednesdays and Thursday nights. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.